final leg. Huge day for track and field. We had the Milrose Games going down in New York City, and then here we had the World Athletics Indoor Tour continuing with the meet in tour in Poland. Of course, the massive highlight of the weekend is Mondo Duplantis in that pole vault, breaking the world record 6.17 meters. Huge world record, breaking that record set back in 2014 by Renola Villani. We saw him go for it in Dusseldorf not too long ago, almost making it on his second attempt, just knocking it over. Here, though, we're in Torin. He managed to get over that world record again on his second attempt. This actually was really progressive. He managed to be clean throughout the entire competition, improved his indoor personal best to 6.01 meters, then went for that world record. One miss on his first attempt, then on that second attempt, got it clear. Huge performance. This is one that we've been looking forward to, and we probably all knew that Mondo was going to break that world record. His progression has been seen over the past couple years. He's just been getting higher and higher. We saw on that 605 that he jumped at the European Championships two years ago. That was really high over the bar. We knew he could probably get much higher over the world record. He proved it today. 6.17 meters. He probably has a lot more to go. He might be getting over into 6.20 meter territory this year. And in the future, I'm not. I'm probably going to say he might be able to get even into 6.30 meters. He is a very young, very talented athlete. So Mondo Duplantis, again, from Sweden, breaking that world record in the pole vault, 6.17 meters. Heading over to the women's 1500 meters, we had a really deep competition here as well. Gurov Segei, she is the bronze medalist from the World Championships last year in Doha. She managed to get the 1500 meter win in a best of 4 minutes, 0.9 seconds. That not only is a personal best, a world leading performance, but moves her to number seven all time in the 1500 meters indoors. She was followed very closely behind by her countrywoman from Ethiopia, Hailu Lemlem. She managed to run a best of four minutes, 1.79 seconds. That moved her to number 15 all time in the 1500 meters indoors. And also in third place, we had Arafi coming from Morocco. She managed to run an indoor personal best of four minutes, 2.46 seconds, moving her to number 20 all time. So very, very deep field between these top three in the 1500 meters. Again, Segei taking that win, moving her to number seven all time in that 1500 meters. Moving over to the women's long jump, we had Marina Bek Romanchuk from Ukraine. She already held the indoor world lead. This time here in Torin, she managed to improve upon that, jumping 6.96 meters, world leading performance for 2020, personal best, even better than her outdoor personal best of 6.93 meters. So definitely showing her consistency, her improvement, gonna potentially be going for a world outdoor medal at the Olympics this year. She was followed closely behind by Esse Brume from Nigeria, who has really been on the rise, got the bronze medal at the Doha World Championships last year. She managed to jump an indoor personal best of 6.56 meters. So really strong performance from Esse Brume. And again, Romanchuk taking that world lead, 6.96 meters. Heading back to the track in the women's 400 meters, we had Jacina Swedi Ersetek coming from Poland. She managed to grab the win in that 400 meters, 51.37 seconds. Huge performance that set the world lead for 2020 indoors, breaking the previous world lead set by Wadlan Jonathan from the United States. So really strong performance from Ersetek. Hopefully going to be improving at the Olympics this year from the previous finish that she had at the Doha World Championship final. Let's finish things off with the 60 meter hurdles. First on the women's side, we had Tele going up against Amusan and Christina Clemens. Alina Tele though from Belarus, she managed to grab the win over the other two ladies. 7.87 seconds, a season's best, making her number five in the world this year for 2020. She was followed closely behind by Toby Amusan from Nigeria, who's been improving throughout the entire season. She managed to run 7.89 seconds. Christina Clemens from the United States came up for third, tying Amusan's time 7.89 seconds. Season's best for her. So all these ladies are really improving and definitely showing some great consistency throughout the indoor season. On the men's side, though, we had Andrew Pazzi, the world indoor champion from 2018. He managed to get the win in the 60 meter hurdles in 7.53 seconds. Not a season's best. He's already run 7.52, but definitely a strong performance for him. Followed very closely behind by Jared Eaton, who is a silver medalist at the World Indoor Championships in 2018. He managed to run a season's best of 7.54 seconds. So great performances by both the men and the women in the 60 meter hurdles. All right, so those are the highlights from the World Indoor Tour meeting in Tour in Poland. Of course, there's tons of other results. Go in the description below. I'll have a link for the full results. Also, make sure you click the card that comes up above. I have the highlights and recap of the Milrose games that went down on the same day in New York City. Amazing performances there. So make sure you guys check out that recap. In addition, I mentioned Toby Musan. I mentioned Esse Brume, both from Nigeria. Make sure you guys check out Making of Champions. I'll leave some links in the description below to follow the content. I'm going to be producing a lot of content highlighting Nigerian athletes around the world leading into 
into the Tokyo 2020 Olympic season. There's so many athletes that are going to be making an impact in 2020 in Tokyo. So make sure you guys check out their content. Again, I'll leave some links in the description. Definitely want you guys to follow that there. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're going to have the NCAA recaps coming tomorrow and also some other pro results that went down all across the world. All right. So keep tuning in and we'll be back again next video. Thanks.